I literally can't move them at all. Is it on? Woo! Yeah. We're into backing. Literally into backing. Haven't had a chance to uh, film a proper intro for the video you're about to see. So here I am, Puerto Rico, at our house we're staying in, and uh, just wanted to introduce kind of what happened. Um, basically had an hour, hour and a half until uh, sunset where I went out on the jumbo with Katie and kind of tore them up. Um, I tied some new flies that you'll see in the video, but sit kind of bright. Uh, speckled trout, redfish, and flounder flies are actually slammed out on that fly, so um, I'll put a link in the description on how to tie it. I'm going to do a video on that. Super easy. Another one of those flies that kind of fits this channel's kind of simplistic fashion but yeah you guys enjoy the video also some puerto rico stuff coming soon hopefully some tarpon on fly uh, a lot of good surf but yeah enjoy this that didn't head shake. They just always like flail. They're in there off those points. Where's the redfish at, yo? Hey, baby. Do you know? No. Oh, okay. You know, boy? Jeez, that fly is wrecking us. Oh, there's another one. God, followed it to the surface. Jeez. That's it, forget. <laughs> Such a coup. Same fly. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <sighs> Let's just keep it going, you know what I mean? We don't got all day. Christ on the cross. Christ on the cross. Fly doing after getting annihilated by four. Four big ones. Oh, there was another one. Look at that sunset. Would you just look at it? Oh, they're leaving. Yes, they're leaving. At such a crucial time. They're heading out. They should be heading in. Dude, this cold water line, it is just keystring. Moving's leaked out.
Look at this. Look at that smile. Oh my god. He's running. <laughs> oh my god. Got a couple small trout and then a redfish on this uh, fruity pebbles fly that I tied earlier today. And then we just saw a school running on the bank. And I put this tiny little clouster in front of them. And it's like, I really want to see how big this fish is because it's like strong. Look at him taking off to the side. Yeah. Good God. I mean, it's like, it's a bulldog. He's, I haven't seen him yet. Mm -mm. Holy sh! Holy sh! He don't want to come. This might be a like either a feisty one or just like the biggest one. Holy! Shit. I literally can't move him. That rod bent though. Holy like 18 pound later on these like small I tie these flies for trout these redfish are liking them out here I mean this is like pretty serious fish see him over there holy shit. Coming. He's just like going so slow and I have no power on him. This is an eight weight, eight weight cold water line. Jesus. <laughs> He's not moving. Well, not moving at all. He don't want to come. At least let us get the hook out of you. Yeah, you're gonna get free. Hey guys, uh, I don't know, my GoPro died. Did you see his back out of the water just now? No. It is a monster. That's what it's been like the whole time, the past few Going on six minutes. Really? Came out here with about an hour to spare. Hoping for some trout and we're into a bulldog. You see it over there? No. Wait, he's probably gonna run again. It's huge. I literally can't move him at all. Is it on? Woo! Yeah. We're into backing. Literally into backing. Welcome back guys, I had Katie get the big camera. We're into backing now on a big fish. I honestly have no idea what it is. It feels like a redfish, but we could have gotten into a big shark. And it's like not moving at all. So I had her get my big camera because this is just like a good way to end the day and hopefully I don't break them off. It's like either dark, like you're either dark and the, there we go. 
Right. This thing's huge. Here, you can get over there too. Yeah. You look good? Mm-hmm. He's still just rooting, like. Tied these small clouser flies for trout. And this thing is like, acting like. I think he's like done. He'll pop off again, but like, holy cow. It's, it's a brute. Come on. Here he comes. I'm right there. Here he is. Come on, come up. <laughs> Do you see him? Probably one of the biggest redfish I've caught on fly. I mean, I guess. I haven't really seen him that much. I saw a figure and it looked like uh, his head was about as big as a basketball. <laughs> Did you see it? No, I haven't seen it yet. You're going to freak out. I know. It's going to eat you. This. I know. I can't move him. Feel stuck on something. Did he like get me stuck on something? I mean, I cannot. Okay, now he's still me. Holy. Sh Come on, we want to let you off. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> this isn't like for YouTube or whatever. This is like one of the biggest fish I've caught on fly. Should have like a 10 weight for this. Look at him just slowly moving.
put the camera down a little bit. So this way, you don't have to stop. Like, hold it down. Yes, he is. Holy shit. He's decent, but I thought he was like huge. What do you mean? He's huge. All right, where do I need to go? Just chill for a second. Wow. Can you hold my rod? Can you hold my rod for a second, please? Oh my god. Alright, now switch with me. Yeah, I'll get some good, good. Holy shit. That's the same. That same fly. I can't. That thing. Ooh, buddy. That was a sick one. That took us like 10 minutes to get in. Look yep. at that. Big thing. Wow. Holy cow. It was awesome. We saw him like running along the, uh, on the bank, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. Woo -woo. Strip set, forget. Elephants eat peanuts. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. All right, big buddy. Let's get this guy back. There we go. Every one hour trip is worth it. That's the biggest one you've been with me catching, isn't it? Oh, for sure. Holy shit. I love you! I bet that boat scared away everything else. That was a good John boat session, though. It's like, there's a time and a place for the rover and a time and a place for this. And this is just like the perfect thing for scaling a bank. God, it's beautiful out here. I like how these little tiny flies cast so easy. Yeah. So it's just like, I can really like lay them down where I need them. That's the one. One fly, holy cow. Nuts. Jeez. You got fish hands. Oh, so? you got booger hands too. Is it recording? Yes. Great. All right, good sesh, one hour, uh, on uh, a little oyster bank. 
That was insane. Caught a couple uh, small trout at first and that pump red and then saw that school and had enough time right before the sunset to bag that bulldog, redfish, on the same fly, that little, um, right there. That little pink and green flouncer. The thing's insane. It's so light, but it gets down so far and then throws so well. It's a great fly for winter, uh, especially in the murky water. We were fishing a decent little current, like probably five knots, just ripping out outgoings. Those, those fish are just sitting on the bank. And yeah, I pulled, drug the old lady out, and, uh, actually got her out the water. She hasn't gotten a fish on fly yet, but uh, we're close, but hope you uh, enjoyed the old video. This cold, winter in the low country, Get back. Couldn't get the John boat out, had to replace the battery because it sat all winter. But uh, it's just no better way to hit that bank than just trolling across with a uh, you know, Bluetooth Minn Kota. Those things are awesome, I don't care. I know some people hate them, they like pulling along, but for me, best bang for your buck. She doesn't have to do anything, and uh, yeah, but anyway. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Not gonna not gonna draw it out, so later guys.